I'm Jim Cameron. I'm a filmmaker. Obviously, I've had games made from my, my previous films, and um, it, it's sort of been done after the fact. One, usually the film comes out and it's a hit, and then everybody goes, oh my god, we got to have a game. Or somebody sells the rights in some sleazy manner during the making of the film. Everybody thinks the film's going to be a bomb, so they make a crap game, and, you know, <laughs> in either case, it, it hasn't really worked out very well. Uh, for me in the past and I haven't really been part of the loop. So with Avatar we had the luxury of a lot of lead time because from the time we decided to make the picture four years ago uh, through the time of its release will have been you know four and a half years. Um, and so even though there was a lot of R&D stuff at the beginning by the time we were really going and really greenlit to the time of the release was still going to be close to three years. So that was plenty of time to do it right so we started looking for a partner um, you know, we met with everybody, we talked to everybody, some of them got it, some of them didn't, to some it was just a license deal and, you know, kind of like, yeah, 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 we got the market share, we can do this. Uh, Ubisoft didn't come in talking about market share, they started, they, they came in talking about, you know, we love, we love this, you know, world, we love these characters and we have an idea. They had a vision for it. And I think that's what I respected more than anything. They loved the story of the movie, but they didn't want to tell it. I think is the key um, and uh, they had some very clever ideas one of the things that they said that I liked the most was they said we want to do a game where you can play as a Navi or an, or an avatar on, on sort of on the, the blue team if you will uh, or you can play as a, as a human you can have all these great weapons and guns and and uh, amp suits and, and uh, you know these big rotorcraft gunships or you can play as a Navi and fight the guys with all that stuff with the machine guns and missiles and flamethrowers with a bow and arrow. Well, part of it is I had to just trust them to, to be so in sync that even the things that they created that were that were little unique kind of spin-offs, spinning off vehicles, spinning off ideas, creating new characters, I had to trust them to be in sync with the intentions of the, of the of the film and of the script. So, the first things that they came back with, were so in sync. You know, they were creating new people, they were just riffing, riffing, riffing. It's like they took the basic sort of beat, and they just riffed off it. And there, was very, there were very few things that, that they came back with that seemed uh, you know, inappropriate. And I, I asked them to change that and they were 100% willing. They were, they were eager to get it as, as close to what my vision of the game might have been if I had sat with them the whole time instead of being off making the movie. So I think there was a trust and there was a respect from the beginning that served us both. I didn't know what they were going to do. You know, honestly, I mean, I mean, I knew they, 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 they made a presentation, they talked me through it along the way, but there was actually a short period of time where it was a first-person shooter. And then we all sat around and said, is this really what we want to be doing? Does that undersell the characters? Are you going to feel like you're a Navi if you never see what a Navi looks like? You just see your own blue arms, you know? So they said, you know, you're right, maybe we should think. So, I mean, it was that kind of give and take. You know, we questioned to them if a first-person shooter was the right choice. So they came back with a whole other proposal that was, that was a you know, third-person third -person game. And that's what it is. So, uh, you know, uh, until I think I s uh, just uh, recently that I saw kind of some of the, the later demos, um, I don't think I knew how good it was going to be. The final culmination of this will be when I sit down to write the sequel, I want to talk to them first. I think a lot of great ideas, they got a lot, of, a lot of great designers, and it may actually be possible. Well, one, assuming that Avatar makes some money. Two, assuming that, that anybody actually wants to go through this hell again and make, make another movie, uh, if there is a sequel. We'll, we'll co-generate a lot of the ideas, which I think is, I don't think that's been done before. Because I'm not that precious about, about my writing. If I hear a good idea, I'm just happy to have somebody else come up with it. And the game is coming out, holidays 09.